Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the beginner's tutorial series where we are trying to go through different parts of the wax environment uh, focused for beginners to show you how to do different things within the, the environment, whether it's uh, staking or unstaking wax, buying NFTs, selling NFTs, anything along those lines. Uh, we're trying to just do a quick beginner's guides. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. This one is focused on buying NFTs on Atomic Hub. All right, so if you're at all interested in wax game NFTs, this is how you go ahead and take a look for them. Uh, first of all, you're gonna go to wax.atomichub.io. I'll have a link in the description for this, and you'll come to this site. This is the main part of the site. Um, if you're looking for specific NFTs, uh, you already have a project that you, you may be interested in, whether it is a game, uh, for example, um, castles or blockchain brawlers or music mogul or anything along those lines, uh, you can come here and take a look at it. You can either click right here on one of their links or the easiest way and the thing that you should probably get used to is actually going through to the market, which is right here. There's a link for the market. You click on that and you're going to go ahead and this is the screen that's going to come up make sure you have some wax in your wallet there'll be a separate tutorial on that um, and now now that you know uh basically the project that you want to take a look at um this is the screen that you're going to go to in the market you see two search bars actually you see three search bars here um, but two of them are really going to be relevant for for taking a look for the nft and then buying the nft you have the search bar over here which searches the different collections or the different projects that are on Wax. And then you have this search bar here, which search, searches within those projects. Um, so for my example that I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna look at uh, the Funko DC line, basically that project that they have out there. I can either scroll down and find it right here, or what I can do is I can go ahead and search for it by clicking on or typing in Funko. And it's going to give me all the Funko projects that are currently available. And my, the one that I'm going to be interested in is the DC one. I can even, I can even go as far as going DC dot Funko, and it's going to bring up this one right here. So you, you click on that, and all the NFTs on this side are going to change, and they're going to be specific to your project. One of the other hints that I want to do put out there, especially if you are a new buyer or a new player on wax um, one of the things that you should always check is this box right here only whitelisted nfts because there will be times where people try and uh, put copy nfts out there that have should have zero value or basically they're, they're bootleg nfts um, and if you click on this only whitelist nfts then that's going to remove all those bootlegs it only shows approved Atomic Hub approved NFTs and projects. So, and there's a, 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 a big process that they go through in order to be verified and whitelisted on the Atomic Hub. So click on that just until you get familiar with all the different projects and, and how this all works. All right, now I have the, the DC Funko project up here. What I wanna take a look at is, you'll see that they have different categories now. This shows packs. Right now, Funko only has two items. They have packs and they have the, the actual series of the cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the series of the cards because I'm looking for the different cards. And then you're gonna have a number of filters down here. Each project is a little bit different with their filters, but most of them have at least a rarity. Uh, for example, if I click on this pull down menu, I can, I can select anything from a common up to a grail or a one of one. Um, for what I'm going to do in this is I'm going to go ahead and select common just to give you an example of what I'm looking for. And the other thing that you want to do, especially as a new buyer, is you want to see this pull down menu up here. If you click on that, it's going to show you a couple different options. You want to take a look at the lowest price ones because there's going to be some people that put commons out there for like a thousand wax and the same common you can get for two wax. So if you just go by newly listed or if you go by oldest listed or any, any of those other ones, uh, there's a chance that you're going to overpay for the NFT that you're looking for. So I usually select this price the lowest. It gives it, the top shows the lowest price all the way down to higher prices. Um, so if, in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this Hulk girl. 
Um, in order to buy, it's a pretty simple process. You click on buy, and it's going to give you this option. It's basically asking, are you sure you want to buy this? It just until you get used to the whole process, just double check to make sure that it has your project name plus a check mark, whether it's a white check mark or a circle check mark. The white check mark shows that it's just verified. If it shows both uh, the orange check mark, I, I should say the orange color and the orange check mark, that means it's both uh, verified and white listed. So make sure that that checks there. If it doesn't show either of these, double check to make sure that you have the right project. It'll show you the mint number. I'm not super concerned with mint numbers. Some other people are very concerned. It shows the NFT ID, um, which is, is essentially the template. That, that I'm sorry, this is the specific code that goes along with this NFT itself. Um, then it has the seller and the price. It's two wax for me, 19 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and it's gonna give you the tr transac transaction is successful. Um, you have to see the screen in order for it to actually show that you completed the transaction. Um, if it shows a red, there's a chance that it's either it, it may be a network issue or you have no RAM. So you, these transactions are all done with RAM. So you may need to bump up your RAM a little bit to, to do whatever transaction. So you can go ahead and buy as many as you want, as, uh, depending on what you're looking for. That's the simple process. If you want to go back and look for other other projects or if you want to look for specific nfts in here say i want to look for all the night wings go ahead and click on that there's a couple different templates let's go ahead and click on this one this i just happen to pick uh a bundle so you just if, if you didn't pick the right one you just go here and select again and it's going to show you all the the common night wings that are currently available and again, you want to make sure you have lowest price and you go ahead and you buy the one that you want. All right. And then the last thing I'm going to show you with this tutorial is say you have a second project that you want to take a look at. Um, you can't just type in here, uh, for example, uh, we'll go to castles. You can't just type in here castles because you're still selected on the, the DC Funko one. What you want to do is you have to click this X. It takes you back to this initial menu and then you type in the next project that you want to take a look at and you go ahead and you select that. And again, you see there's a lot more menu items for this one because it's a different project. And then you have the different, this one only shows by rarity. For example, if I select on the LAN, it only shows rarity. The other one for Funko, you had three different options in the filters. And then you use the same process, make sure that you have the lowest price and you select that the one that you want to sell or the one that you want to buy. All right, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to take a look at which items that you just purchased, you just go up to here and you select on my inventory. And once you select that, it's going to take you over your inventory. And once you're over in your inventory, you'll see the items that you just purchased. You can see I just bought these two. So if you hover over it, you'll see in the middle of the screen it shows your purchase price, the current price, it shows all the information about that specific NFT. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and download a, a number of other ones and I hope you have a great day. Bye.